Hi everyone, today I'm going to share with you my February favorites, the things that I've been loving during the month of February. And I'll go ahead and start off with the non-makeup products because I only have two, actually three, and I'm just going to get them out of the way real quick. And the first one is this L'Oreal Mega Moisture Nourishing Cream Mask for your hair. And I've actually been using this forever. I've been using this since high school and I'm just I'm just so surprised that I've never mentioned it before but I did post a picture on Instagram so I wanted to talk about it um, on my favorites video because this has been my favorite for years and it's a mask that I use once a week and I can only find it at Sally's Beauty Supply that's the only thing is that's the only place I can purchase it is at Sally's but first off it smells amazing it just smells so fresh I love the way this smells it smells like a tropical rainforest it's fruity it's really fresh and it works really really well it makes my hair so silky soft um, right after I use it your hair feels like baby hair that's how hydrated and soft and smooth it is and it just makes my hair really moisturized and shiny um, I have blue hair, I bleach it, so this really, really helps to maintain the shine and makes it look healthy and not so damaged. So definitely, definitely try this out if you have a Sally's near you, you will not be disappointed. My next favorite is the Sigma Flat Kabuki Brush, and I'm sure if you've seen some of my makeup tutorials lately, you will notice this brush. I use it for my foundation, and I just like the way it feels. First off, it feels really, really, really soft. The bristles don't prick whatsoever, and they're synthetic, and I just really like how it buffs everything out so well into the skin. You don't see any streaks, you don't see any brush hair lines. And it just works really well. It makes it the application very fast. And I have a lot of control over with this brush because the hairs are so small. So I would really, really recommend this brush if you're looking for something for foundation. You just want to buff it into the skin. You can see here, I even bring it down onto my neck and it just works really well. I really like this brush. The next beauty tool that I have discovered that I love is my Real Techniques Complexion Miracle Complexion Sponge. And this is a great dupe for the Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender is $20 for one. And this only cost me $6 and it's basically the same thing. And I even prefer the shape of this one over the Beauty Blender just for this flat edge here because what I use my Beauty Blender for is for the highlight around my face and so this is the perfect shape for underneath the eyes, the nose and the forehead and it still has the pointy end and then it also has this really long end for foundation if you use it for foundation. So this is an awesome, awesome find and it is great if you want to save some money because it is just as good as the Beauty Blender. Okay, on to makeup. I actually got this in my Ipsy February bag and this is a blush. It is City Color B Matte Blush in the shade Fresh Melon and it is just the most beautiful shade. Like I said before, I'm really into corally pink colors and this one is just perfect. I love that it's matte. And the color is just awesome for every day. I think this would even be a really good dupe for the Kat Von D Bellissima blush that I had in my last favorites. So this blush is very similar to the Por Vida by Kat Von D, but this one has a little bit more of corally undertones, whereas this one is a little bit more pink but they're very, very similar, which is probably why I really, really like it. Here are the swatches next to each other, so you can see this is the Fresh Melon and this is uh, the Por Vida. This one just a little bit more corally and this one has a little bit more pink. But I've been loving this blush. It's what I have on today, and it just goes well with almost all my makeup looks. So my favorite foundation for this month is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup 
uh, by L'Oreal. And the reason why I decided to pick this up and try it was because my skin has been very dry lately during my pregnancy so I wanted something that was gonna give my skin a little bit more life and make it look a little bit dewy or just give me a more glowing appearance so I got this and I fell in love it's about medium coverage I would say it's not too heavy coverage so it doesn't feel heavy on the skin and it really does give me that effect of nice luminous healthy looking skin so I really love it I'm in the shade W3 nude beige and yeah I, it just goes on phenomenally phenomenally and it lasts a really long time on me I don't set it with anything I just keep it on the skin like I said really dry so I just leave it and it soaks up into the skin and I haven't had any problems with it whatsoever so I really really love this foundation Okay, on to all the lip products that I have been loving this month. I just picked up some of the Buffs Color Sensational line from Maybelline and I love nude lips. Neutral lips are probably one of my favorites. I wear it all the time. So I was very, very excited to try some of these. And the two colors that I've really been loving this month are Blushing Beige 915 and Nude Lust, which is 920. Go ahead and swatch them. And I'm currently wearing Blushing Beige on my lips right now. So this is Blushing Beige and this is Nude Lust. And these just feel so creamy on the lips. I really like the formula of these. They're very creamy, but they're not super shiny. I don't really like shiny lips. Um, they kind of set a more satin finish so they don't look like high gloss but they're not completely matte either so they smell really good they have a sweet smell to them and I just love everything about this they're they don't have any frost in them which I don't like frosty lipstick the colors are really creamy they're pigmented so I really really recommend this line if you are trying to find the perfect nude I'm sure you can find the perfect nude within this line because they have a total a really large range of like brown nudes corally nudes um, beigey nudes so I'm sure you can find it within this line and the formula is really great I've also picked up two new flower lipstick shades and Flower is sold exclusively at Walmart. It is the Drew Barrymore makeup line. And these are two new shades for the spring collection, I believe. One of them is Apricot Blossom and the other one is Baby Buttercup. And the Flower lipstick line is just awesome. The lipsticks are very creamy, they're very opaque, and the formula is very nice. And here I have the swatches. This one is this one is Apricot Blossom and this one is Baby Buttercup. And of course, I love nudes, so these are nudes. And even though I love nudes and I really love my nude lipsticks and that's what I wear all the time, when I do want to wear a color, it has to be pretty phenomenal for me to talk about it. And this one here is just gorgeous. This is the Pink Velveteen by Lime Crime. You can see here the swatch is just amazing. These are phenomenal. Well, I only have one, but it is phenomenal. It goes on like a liquid, but then it dries a really beautiful satin matte, and it's not drying on the lips, so it doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel like you're wearing plastic on your lips. They're very hydrating and it is super duper opaque so it just looks almost like a cartoon drawing of lips on your face and very long lasting it even stains your lips a little bit so when it does wear off um, it doesn't wear off weird or blotchy it just wears off really nicely this is a really awesome product there's not a lot of products like this out there but it is a little pricey it's twenty dollars but in all honesty, you are getting your money's worth with this product because 
it's long lasting, it's hydrating even though it's a matte finish, and it doesn't wear off weird, it, just, it lasts a really, really long time. Even after I eat, um, it's still there and it still looks good. It doesn't bleed. So I'm definitely going to get more colors in the Velatines. So that is it for my monthly favorites. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.